All right, welcome back to Looking at Blade Reviews. Chinese Dadao Sword. Uh, this is categorized on the website as a Chinese machete. Uh, that's because this is the same steel quality that Cold Steel uses for their machetes. Take a look at the polypropylene handle we have here, this textured grip. It's all one piece. It looks like the traditional wraps that would be a wood handle with the actual traditional fabric that wraps it around. But it's one solid piece. Take a look at some specs on it, do some up-close looks on it, and also some cut testing. Let's get to it. All right, overall length on this Chinese Dadao from Cold Steel, 38 inches, so pretty long blade. Uh, we got this little ring here, coming all the way through. It can be doubles as a pommel if you're using a double grip. Obviously, this is primarily a two-handed grip weapon. I would imagine, obviously, you could do this with a single hand, but because of the weight on this as well, and because of the follow-through of this like cleaver, almost butcher type of blade, um, you're gonna wanna probably use two hands because of this thing called momentum as you come back around. Overall length on this blade, 38 inches, a little bit over 38, all the way from the long polypropylene handle. Blade length, single edge blade, kind of a cleaver, almost butcher type of blade, 23 inches. So a very nice single edge blade. Take a look at the tang. If you're familiar with cold steel machetes, it's the same tang that they normally have with it as far as thickness goes, same one. Added features, polypropylene handle, double grip. You're gonna want that because this thing's got a lot of momentum to it. Like I said before, it's got a really good straight tip as you're coming out, almost like a Bowie clip design with kind of a cleaver type of vibe to it. So pretty sweet blade, a little bit over two pounds for this one. Uh, no excess weight on it really at all. I actually really like the grip. Um, something that's a make or break for me is actually the grip of the sword. You could say the edge sharpness, and that could be a preference for you personally, but that can always be touched up. But as far as the actual handling of it, you gotta have a great handle because you wanna be able to maneuver it with confidence and know that the thing isn't gonna slide out of your hand. So from here, let's take a look at some specs on it, some up close looks at it, and then we'll do some cut testing. Let's get to it. I almost forgot to mention we get a scabber with this as well. So working with this scabber, um, again, it's just like the Cold Steel scabbards. They've updated it, put their logo on the bottom, polypropylene bottom, little pin on the back here. It's exactly the same thing on the other side. This snaps shut. Let's see if I can do this on camera. There we go. So it gets actually good though, because it's nice and tight. You got a pin, a little snap there, a little snap here, a little snap there. You got three. Um, this is shown to be sh to be worn over the shoulder. Um, I can't really recommend that to be honest with you. You could wear it over your shoulder. I mean, don't bring this to like school or anything like that. You could wear it over the shoulder, you could strap it. Um, I'm not gonna recommend that you do that personally. I would rather just kind of adjust this to where I'd be able to wear it as a belt loop. You can also just take this thing off if you choose, if you want to modify this and pop this off and cut it. Get rid of that all together and then just use it like a sword, just use a sword frog we have available at publicnia.com just allowing you to really be able to carry this. But if you don't want to carry it, if you want to use it for gardening, if you want to use it for like any type of like cutting your grass and your weeds, this is a good one. It's also a good price point blade as well.
All right, so from here, Chinese the Dow Sword from Cold Steel. We did a little bit of up close look, some specs. Now let's take it over to the cut test thing and see what it does to some tatami mats. That's pretty sweet. Really got kind of extra on that. I didn't need to. That cut really well. Sweet. Let's do a slow mo of that cut, right? All right, you going? Cool. Thanks for joining me for this blade review of Colt of Athena Chinese the Dao Sword with the polypropylene handle. Pretty sweet. Saw the forehand horizontal come out with one slash. Cut the hell out of that tatami mat. If you need tatami mats, click the link in the description below this video, allowing you to check those out for yourself and do some safe cut testing as well. Subscribe to the channel, like this video, let me know what kind of blades you want to see in the coming future. More Cold Steel stuff? Let me know in the comments below or other stuff. Also let me in the comments below. I'll talk to you soon.